Hey, I'm Aileen. Welcome to my channel, a place to make art and feel empowered. So today's video is going to be really quick. I actually just want to talk to you about two things that have inspired me to stay positive during this apocalypse. It's only the third month of 2020 and it's already felt like the world is going to end every single day. We almost got into World War III. Different places around the world have been on fire, there have been earthquakes, floodings, volcanoes erupting, and now we have the whole coronavirus thing causing a worldwide pandemic. So how do you keep a positive mindset in a time of crisis? The first thought I want to share with you, I read it when I read Chris Hedges' America the Farewell Tour. Now this is a, a very sad book to get through because it explains not only how the US got to where we are today with Trump and with like politicians all around the country basically selling our resources and just really exploiting the working class not just in the US but in the entire world but at the end of the book Chris actually shares a very hopeful thought he said he used to think that history was good versus evil but that actually when he looked further into history he realized this history of humankind is actually a small group of people consistently beating evil. To me, that thought inspires us to have a lot of hope. If you're anything like me and you want to create change in your community, in your country, in the world, you often feel like you're alone and like you're against evil. And not only are you against evil, but you're against authorities or people who have a lot of power and who have so many more resources than you have. And how are you alone going to change anything in the world? But if you realize every single person in the world that has come before us and has attempted to change anything, they felt that feeling too. And just because that feeling was a reality, it doesn't mean that you're not gonna conquer that evil. It just means that you actually have to fight and attempt to fight that evil. And it's so crazy that right now during this world pandemic, there are so many of us probably having to fight little battles for ourselves. So many of us are having to fight at work to get time off, to get paid time off, or fighting in hospitals with your doctor so you can get tested for the coronavirus. And it probably does make you feel hopeless and like you have no chance of going against these other people that have so much more, but you have to continue to fight for yourself and for others. And even though it's gonna always feel like an impossible fight, it is possible, but you do have to fight. The second idea that has helped me to think positive during this apocalypse is this idea of looking for the little helpers. Now, if you guys watch my channel, you know I'm not from the US. I grew up in Latin America and Costa Rica and Nicaragua. So there's a lot of like American childhood that I don't have. Like I've never seen the cat in the hat and stuff like that. And I've never seen Mr. Rogers either. I don't even know what Mr. Rogers show is about, to be honest. I just know it's a show for kids and that people love Mr. Rogers. But somewhere along the way, I heard this quote that he said, and I'm gonna read it so that I can say it accurately. Mr. Rogers said, when I was a boy and I would see scary things in the news, my mother would say to me, look for the helpers. You will always find people who are helping. And the reason why I really like this thought is because sometimes when we want to be brave we have to overcome that fear that nobody else around you is doing the things that you want to do but if you actually pay a lot of attention there's people doing little things all around the world every single day in and out even if it's if it's a small gesture and when you're in a situation that you do want to take action sometimes you just need a little bit of encouragement for you to get yourself to do it and on the other side of that if you feel like you don't have the qualities to help or to be brave seeing other people be brave, be helpful, be kind. You can look at those people around you that are doing those things and be motivated by how they go about it because we all have different talents, different positions in life, different effect on other people. So we're all gonna act differently. Even if we have the same goal, we'd probably go about it in different ways, but you can learn and be inspired by the leaders that are around you so you can take small steps and you can become a leader too. So looking for helpers, shouldn't make you feel like, oh, I'm not gonna do anything because other people are already helping, but let it inspire you so that you can help too. Or if what you wanna do is be brave, look for people that you feel are brave and learn from them, what are they doing? Even if they fail, how do they get back up again and try harder? For me with this whole coronavirus thing, it's been really inspiring to see the doctors around the world that are being whistleblowers in countries that they're not allowed to talk about what's going on. And even though they're risking their life to saying this information, 
they're going out of their way to inform other people and warn them so they can take care of their own health. I'm inspired by all the doctors, all the nurses that are treating these people directly at hospitals around the world. I'm inspired by the journalists that are communicating all this information because clearly the United States government right now is not interested in actually taking action and coming up with a plan. I've been really inspired by Bernie Sanders who has been having like live streaming conferences every single day for the past like three or four days and he's been legitimately addressing the subject and what possible things we can do to take precaution and help one another and which is mainly like stay at home <laughs> right now because we don't have enough enough tests in the hospital or anything like that and you know what and i've also been inspired by all the people online that are sharing all their like mental health resources like holding meditation circles or like live streams and people laugh when people do things like this but it's so important that you work on your mindset because if you think about it let's say you do have a scientist who has the knowledge who has the tools to find a cure for this disease if he doesn't think it's possible to find a cure, why is he going to be spending hour after hour in a lab trying to find for an answer? You need to have the right mindset for you to stay with a problem for a very long time and actually overcome defeat over and over again and continue trying to find an answer. So that's even like someone like a scientist. So how do you think that if you're a normal everyday person, you don't need to think, you don't need to work on your mindset? Of course you do. We don't know how far this thing is gonna go into breaking down our like everyday lives more than it already has so i think trying to maintain a positive mindset during crisis is actually very important and right now it's so difficult to remain positive because it's very easy to just be living with anxiety you know reading all the news reading all the updates about how many people are dying how many people are sick and they're telling you to stay home so of course, we're going to be home watching the news and reading more about it. But I think if we learn to remain positive during this time of crisis, when we actually do have problems, we can clearly think and look for solutions that maybe are not so obvious because right now it's kind of a crazy thing that we've never ever seen before. And at least like, you know, people that are alive, like we've had pandemics in the past, but obviously this is the first time that we see something like this around the world. Not to mention that not all of us have the ability to see a therapist right now and of course if everybody's telling us to stay home you definitely might not be going to the psychologist, therapist, psychiatrist right now even if you had the option. So I think mental health tools are very important for everybody and something that we sometimes overlook in these crazy times. And that's really all I wanted to share with you guys today. Thank you for watching if you still are. Subscribe if you like to continue talking about world domination and follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter. If you like these kinds of videos, I am starting to make more videos like this. My next video is about how to think differently. So if that interests you, go ahead and subscribe and so that you'll know when I make the next video because I'm not very good at staying on schedule. The past two weeks, I've totally gone off schedule. So sorry about that and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.